Hello everyone and welcome back to another Good Game Empire video. Today I'm going to talk about the Ice Championship and the Ice Stalkers event, uh, which have both started recently. But before we dive into today's video topic, I wanted to only mention that um, the rewards for our advent calendar are going to be paid out uh, on the following days. Actually, part of the rewards were paid out already today and yesterday, so you may expect to get these items very, very shortly. Uh, yeah, so that's it for the announcement and now let's move to the topic of today's video. So first I want to talk about the new LTP event which started like one or two days ago and that's the Ice Championship. And later we're going to also talk about the Ice Stalkers event which also has some cool rewards in it. And I want to give you some tips and information how to get all these nice items here. Yeah, so um, in general I think that uh, both, these both these events are great for uh, free to play and low spending players because you can get a lot of items from them and the reward pool was improved. So the reward list uh, mostly includes the glacier tokens and thus the LTP currency that you can use to exchange at Master Blacksmiths. So I'm going to show it in a second, but first let's talk about the rewards and the tops because those also change depending on your level. Let's briefly talk about getting the seasonal points. So this is pretty easy um, because you can get them by participating in the events, in all the events, the Nomad, the Berrymont, the Blood Crow, the Foreign Lords and the Samurais. So uh, this event will require you to collect uh, camp points or earn some uh, gallantry points when defeating the Berrymont camps or collect a given amount of glory in uh, Foreign Lords and Blood Crows. But my personal best way of getting these uh, seasonal points is the Beremont Invasion. Why? Because it doesn't require you to use the time skips, so you don't need to worry about skipping the cooldown time on, for example, Nomad or Samurai Camp, and instead you can just slam the attacks around the Beremont Camps. You actually have 10 of these Beremont Camps, so it's very, very easy here to attack all around. And, uh, well, it's just uh, simpler, faster, and you can actually get more points because you're getting free points if you add a few uh, gallantry boosting tools um, because you need to earn 500 gallantry points uh, per one battle and you're going to get free points and in case of nomad invasion you actually uh, need to spend can tablets but that's also a great way of getting the seasonal points given you have a lot of uh, tablets to spend and when we're speaking about the seasonal points also, uh, from time to time, there is a chance you're going to receive a Ruby offer, which includes a LTPE booster, and the best version can, can give you, I believe, uh, plus 300% seasonal points. So you're going to get four times the points as usually um, for eight hours, I think, and that costs you 15,000 rubies. So that's a really good deal, especially if you're free to play, you manage to collect some rubies, and you want to, for example, exchange a lot of token, uh, a lot of nomad tokens or can tablets, uh, whatever. If you want to exchange them, and uh, that's a great way, a great opportunity to get more seasonal points. So first, the reward list. This one actually is the same for all players. So in total, you have like it's split in two parts. So the first part is 45 rewards, and it requires you to get 2,000 score in the event. And after you unlock this last reward, the second part of this list of rewards will unlock. And the second part actually requires you to get 10,000 points in LTP to unlock all the rewards. So the first part includes um, 8,100 Glacier tokens and one Sasaki offering at the end. And the other part of the list of rewards, which also includes 45 um, positions will give you 9,250 Glacier tokens in total. So assuming that you finish the whole event and you manage to get 10,000 score in the LTP event, so 10,000 uh, season points, then you're going to receive 17,350 Glacier tokens in total. So you can already kind of plan ahead uh, what items you're going to buy at Master Blacksmith for these uh, Glacier tokens. And you're also going to get this one Sasaki offering. And that's actually all for the list of rewards and all players on all levels, starting at level 50 when the LTP event actually unlocks, um, are going to be able to get the same kind of rewards. But this changes when it comes to the tops. So first of all, the tops are different for different uh, servers. So you may have like top 3, top 100 and top 200, for example, on your server. So that's dependent on the size of the server. Um, but also it depends on the levels. So as you may know, we have uh, three um, level thresholds in here. So the first one is for levels uh, 50 to 69 normal levels. 
then for legendary levels between 1 to 799, and the last one for legendary levels 800 to 950, so the uh, most advanced players. The item which has drawn my attention the most in this LTP event is actually a permanent appearance item, uh, which is at the second top position, so not the highest top position, and it's easier to get, so 150 players can get it on my server. And this is the Winter Barracks appearance item, which gives you 10% front unit limit when attacking. So that's a pretty nice addition if you're not usually applying any items to barracks, because barracks mostly get the uh, ruby items, not really, when it comes to attacking, not really any items from events nor the Master Blacksmith, only the item to, to increase the units on the wall. But that's for defense. So when you're attacking, this is going to be a perfect item. So this is a great opportunity for free to play and low spending players uh, to grab your hands on this nice item here. Uh, but this item is going to be only available, um, I mean, it's going to be available on uh, all uh, level thresholds, but the lowest level threshold, which is a, a player level uh, 50 to 69, is going to actually receive um, 7,500 glacier tokens, but only 300 upgrade tokens. And on the uh, second top position, they are going to receive one Sasaki offering instead of this item and 150 construction tokens. And for the highest top, uh, they are going to get this item at the highest top, so it's going to be way more difficult, as well as an effect decoration, but not this one. Uh, They're going to actually get a effect decoration which gives you extra 10% experience points gained from all kinds of sources. Um, actually, this is the least expected decoration, like effect for a, decor for a decoration. Uh, for me, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it at all uh, to get the extra experience points effect decoration. But anyways, that's uh, what the lowest levels get. And the bigger players get, uh, again, 7,500 Glacier tokens, 400 upgrade tokens, and then they actually get this item at the second top position and 200 construction tokens. And for this top, they also uh, get this effect decoration, which gives you 4,000 public order and 7% bonus to wall um, capacity when defending, as well as 300 skits. And as you can see, the highest levels, so 800 to 950, get, as it follows, uh, 7,500 Glacier tokens and 500 upgrade tokens. Then we get this plus 10% uh, front unit limit when attacking for barracks, as well as 250 construction tokens. And for the best, we're getting 500 skits and the effect deco with a 7% wall um, capacity, which is very very nice decoration. I calculated it and actually if you have all your towers at maximum level and the um, uh, the item, the normal item, wall capacity for the keep, you're going to get extra 200 units on the wall. And if you have more items that increase your basic wall capacity, then this effect decoration is going to increase it even more significantly. But have in mind that you can only have one uh, of this kind of effect decoration. So even if you manage to get another one in future, you can only keep one per castle. You, you cannot stack uh, more of these um, decorations. Okay, so now let's proceed to the most important, I think, uh, which is Glacier Tokens. But just before we go into this section, I wanted to mention that uh, you need to spend your Winter Tide Charms, which are from the previous LTP, from the um, Christmas season. Uh, you need to spend them until January 12th or they are going to be wasted and deleted from your account basically. So uh, remember to spend them and now let's go to the Glacier Token section. So you actually have some fresh items in the store and some better balanced, I would say, some better priced, let's say maybe, uh, items in here. So first of all we have the 4000 public order decoration which is pretty nice because uh, let's, re let's remember that you're getting in total, if you manage to complete all the rewards and uh, finish the reward list uh, in this current LTP, in the ICE Championship, you're going to get 17,350 uh, of this currency of the Glacier Tokens. So you can, for example, buy uh, free uh, 4,000 public order decorations, which is pretty nice. But I would uh, rather buy, for example, affluence tickets uh, rather than, uh, than these decorations. The winter market item gives you plus 25% flank unit limit when attacking. Um, but I think that it's better to get the pirate winter, uh, I'm sorry, pirate market, because pirate market increases the uh, melee troop strength. But, you know, it, it's 50% on epic uh, rarity for the pirates item. And you can get them from the events pretty easily. So. It's not that it's only for Ruby players, it's also for free-to-play players. 
Um, but this one gives you flank capacity, so depending on which one you'd prefer. Uh, the item isn't that strong, I would you know rate it like 5 out of 10 maybe. It's not extraordinarily strong, uh, but it's decent, it's decent. So if you want to improve your flanks instead of melee, because you're composing your attacks of ranged uh, soldiers, uh, mostly then, yeah, it would be a good one to go. Uh, then we have the Winter Brew item, appearance item for the castle on, uh, which increases the unit on the castle wall by 5% for two weeks. Uh, it's very cheap, so I wouldn't, I mean, I could recommend buying it if you're, for example, if you don't have any other item, uh, which you could get for rubies, for example, because you don't want to spend rubies on that, and then you can get this item and participate in the Khan event, defend your castle against Khan and so on. Uh, so that's not a bad choice, actually. And now we're moving to the offerings. So the offerings got cheaper uh, compared to, <laughs> for example, this one, uh, where it was a little bit more expensive. But compared to the previous LTPs before the Christmas season, uh, they were even more expensive. So they're kind of getting to the mainstream, let's call it. Um, and I mean, I, I still wouldn't buy them. But if you're uh, far behind in the journal, um, improvements then you can get some offering to Ludwig I believe so or maybe offering to Ulrich would be the best choice the offering to batteries is overpriced for sure here so I wouldn't recommend getting this one and now the boxes so before we go into boxes I want to mention the affluence tickets so the affluence ticket price got uh, lowered again because uh, usually we would get um, five affluence tickets for this price or one affluence tickets for one, one affluence ticket for 500 of this currency. And now we're getting two times more. Uh, sometimes we would also get, uh, such as in this shop, uh, 25 for 7,500. But in this case, we're actually getting more because for a 7,500 of this currency, we'll be getting 30 uh, of the affluence tickets. So I'd highly recommend to get this because it's the best you know, value for uh, money, value for the winter tide, oh, sorry, for the glacier token um, currency. So that's a uh, great way to go. Skids, um, yeah, if you want to improve, if you're lacking skids for your upgrades in Half Legends, then uh, for sure go for this. And as usual, the troop and um, the, <laughs> and the um, tool section is uh, just use us so don't pay attention to those. Yeah, so in uh, short terms, I'd recommend to buy affluence tickets or the offerings, maybe if you want to improve your journals. And the skits, of course, also important. And then we move to the ice stalkers where you can get uh, pelts and you can get them by making special attacks on other players. And basically how this event works, you get uh, the pelts, so you get this um, score by attacking other players on the world map. So when we go to world map and try to find any uh, enemy, yeah, you make the event attack instead of the normal attack. And you're going to rob 5% of the pelts this player has. So when you compose an attack, uh, I would usually recommend to make an attack of two waves at max. So I know this wave, or maybe like two waves, yeah. And I think that would be enough to attack this player. Um, and then when you attack, you're going to see that you're going to get 5% of their pelts. Uh, and actually, there's one tip I want to share with you. Uh, so uh, every time the collector, because all these kind of events which require you to make special attacks um, are named collector events in general. So each time a new collector event starts, uh, you get a appearance item for your commander. And then you can apply this appearance item for my commander. And this is going, as you can see, to give you 5% extra pelts. So instead of robbing 5%, you're actually getting 10% uh, from that player. So instead of uh, 91, we're getting 182 pelts. So that's nice, and you can compose attacks. You can also get ruby boosters, but it's not worth getting them, because I believe that this event is mostly oriented for free-to-play players. Um, looking um, <laughs> at rewards you can get in this event. So yeah, so this is how it works. Try to find uh, enemies which don't have many might points, such as this one, and are easy to uh, to defeat with those two waves of attacks. And just send as many attacks as possible. Use all your commanders. As you can see, this would be an easy win here. Uh, and the trick for this event is getting as many points as possible at the beginning of this event, because the mechanics here is that um, each time, it, well, once a day, uh, while this event is running, uh, your points are going, your pelts 
are going to get multiplied. So as you can see, the current amount of pelts I have right now is 1730. And the daily pelt gain is going to be 606. But if I were to get more of these points, the, the, the daily uh, pelt gain would increase as well. So um, throughout getting more pelts today, I'm increasing also my gain, uh, which is going to be added for today uh, for, for the total points I have right now. So uh, if I attack more, then I also get more each day. And this increase is 30%. So each time uh, there is this uh, daily pelt gain, you're going 30% of the current pelt uh, amount you have right now. Yeah, so it's important to get as many points as possible at the beginning of this event because this means that you're going to have to put less effort in total to get the rewards and the rewards go as follows. So the first stage is very easy to get but it also doesn't really give you any uh, valuable items. The second one gives you a permanent look item which is pretty nice um, for your commander as well as uh, one affluence ticket. The next one gives you a castle and look item as well as one affluence ticket and eight construction tokens. Uh, the next one gives you a decoration, so this is very very good for smaller players who don't have enough decorations in their castles for example, and also a temporary appearance item for 12 hours, so that's not the greatest we could uh, have in here, uh, but it gives you four waves and some units on the flank and front, uh, so that's good for, I don't know, glory events for example, and another affluence ticket, then for 120,000 uh, points we get another uh, appearance item, but this one actually is for commander and this for seven days. So this one is great for uh, playing the Khan event when you want to defend your castle against um, the Khan attacks. And another affluence ticket. And then we're going to get on the top um, reward threshold. We're going to get 160,000 points required and that gets us 3.2 thousand decoration, for, uh, public order decoration and also a 7 day item with plus 4 waves and actually 20% unit on front and flank which is pretty decent and some skids yeah so in total we're going to get 4 i believe affluence, uh, 5 affluence tickets and also some cool appearance items if you manage to get the 120 and 160000 points uh, thresholds in this event yeah and also for this event actually i have on my gg.guide website i have a calculator where you can uh, specify so the first field asks you um, how many points you want to have at the end of the event so basically which event threshold which reward threshold you are interested in so in this case 160,000, and specify the remaining event time which was i believe uh, 4.5 right now and this is going to tell you how many points you need to have right now at this moment uh, to get the desired amount of points throughout the daily gains so you're going to gain, you know, 30% uh, more of these points. And then when it multiplies, you're going to get like 48,000 or something. And on the other day, this 48 is going to also be multiplied by extra 30% and so on and so on. And um, by the end of the event, you're going to get the number you specified right here. So that's a very handy tool uh, for calculating how many points you need to have now in order to get those rewards in here. Yeah, right. So I think that's all for today's video. Uh, it was a deep dive into the Ice uh, Championship as well as the Ice uh, Stalkers event. So I hope it was helpful for you uh, guys uh, who are still learning about Good Game Empire. And I wish you all the best and good luck in those events. I hope that you're going to get all the uh, Glacier tokens and get your uh, you know items you want to get in here especially the affluence tickets as it's a great opportunity for free to play players to get these items uh, and get rewards through the wheel of unimaginable <laughs> unimaginable affluence well uh, so that's all for today's video uh, leave a like if you uh, enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel and see you the next one bye